One of the most challenging areas to navigate when beauty shopping is price point. I mean, this is where things get really tricky. Do I really need to pay over $100 for a quality skin cream? Inside Beautiful Senior Beauty Editor, Desiree Stordahl is a consumer advocate who co-authored the latest edition of Don't Go to the Cosmetic Counter Without Me, which I never will ever again. Uh, she is an expert on skincare and makeup, and she's here to tell you exactly which products to buy in my favorite segment, Choose This, Not That. How are you? I'm so good. So excited to tell you ladies all about the yes. beautiful products that you can get at the drugstore. There are so many things in life that yes, you need to pay more to get better quality, but makeup and other beauty products don't have to be one of them. This is my favorite segment because for my ladies out there, when we are shopping, you know, you never know. Like you want you want to get the best, especially if you're putting it on your skin and on your face. Mm -hmm. So this is amazing. Tell us what you've got for us. Let's start with a really popular one. So here we have Clinique's Chubby Stick, and it's a lip color. It goes on really smooth, pretty sheer, mm -hmm. but gives you that nice, even lip color, and it makes your lips feel nice and soft. Yes, I actually have that. It's a good one, $16, mm -hmm. but from Neutrogena, you can get their Moisture Smooth what? Color Stick, and it's only $9, $16, $9. And I actually like the color payoff a little better with the Neutrogena mm -hmm. version. So basically, I've been wasting coffee money. Yeah, you could get a couple right. lattes there. Okay. <laughs> Lesson learned. What, Lesson learned. What do we got next? So next we have a couple of really great foundations. This one from Urban Decay is their Naked Skin Liquid Foundation. Mm -hmm. $38, so that's on the pricey side. But from Revlon, for just $10, you can get their Nearly Naked Liquid Foundation. And you know, when you look at these, it looks like the Urban Decay one is bigger, so you think, well, maybe it's worth more of the mm -hmm. price. It's not, they're both one ounces. That's a good lesson in how packaging can make Ooh. things look bigger and larger. But both have a beautiful, nice finish, a lightweight formula. Why I favor the Revlon one is that you get broad spectrum SPF 20. So you get an added bonus, ah. whereas with the Urban Decay, no SPF. Yeah. See, they trick you. They trick you. Sneaky, sneaky. Okay, what else do we have here? So these two products from Anastasia Brows and NYX, mm -hmm. they have identical ingredient lists. So this one from Anastasia is their Brow Fix for $21. This one is from NYX, and it's their Eyebrow Shaper, $8.75. The same what? exact product, same this is exact crazy. formula. You just save a lot of money by going with the NYX version. Yes. Anastasia, you've been tricking me. Okay, now, this is amazing. I love some Smashbox, so what's going on here? Smashbox, this is a really popular product. It's their Fusion Lights. It's a highlighting, kind of a bronzer type of product. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit of color. But from NYC, you can get their Sun and Bronze for only $5. This one is 30, so essentially you could get six of what? these for the price of one of these. And the color payoff is a little better with this one. You get a bit more color, but both have a nice shimmery, beautiful glow. It's just, do you want to really pay more when you don't need to? You are such a clever girl. All right, what else do we have? So a different category, hair care. This is a big Ooh. one that women waste a lot of money on. So you can get fabulous, fabulous products from the drugstore, whether it's shampoo or conditioner mm -hmm. or styling products. This is a really great example. Here we have the Kerastase Chroma Reach Hair Mask. Love. Love it, but $61, that's pretty expensive. Yes. So from okay. L'Oreal, we have their Total Repair so exciting, Damage Racing Balm, just $6. So what? 10 times the price you get the Kerastase. And I'll tell you what, they are so similar in texture and so similar in what they do to your hair that I used this one on this side of my hair for one week, that one on that side of my hair for one week, mm -hmm. compared the results, same exact results, you're paying 10 times the price, no need to. This is insanity. My brain just exploded. <laughs> okay, last thing here. Last Tell me about this, Jim. Last but not least, we have Rapid Lash. And Rapid Lash is a really great eyelash growth um, serum. It's a good dupe for Latisse, which is the prescription only mm -hmm. lash growth serum, which is $120. This one's only $50. And I can tell you from personal experience that it works. Now, wow. not every lash growth serum does, so it is mm -hmm. important to find a good one that really does work. Um, but this one does, and you're paying way less price. You don't have to go through a doctor to get it. The only thing I have to caution is that with either this or Latisse, there can be side effects for some yes. people. So just test it out on yourself, see what your skin does. But well, test it out on your friends first, <laughs> and then try it. See what happens, you get the same color eyes as me, you go for it. <laughs> but it's really easy, you just put it on like you would a liquid eyeliner, you do it at night, mm -hmm. it goes on clear. I didn't have any problems with it, but there could be, you know, some maybe like a little bit of redness. 
but for the most part, a really great product, and boy, does it work. Okay, this, this is a sad day, because I wish that we could go on. This is so exciting. We'll do it again. You are gonna come back, and Absolutely. you guys, I'm so excited to see what she brings next time on Choose This, Not That.